Good morning, everyone. Um, today, I don't really have a plan of action. The only thing that's important to me today is that Southampton are playing Watford in the Cup at 3 o'clock. That's the only thing that's important. Uh, it's currently like 12.30. Considering I went to bed at about 5 last night, that's really good for me. And I'm feeling good being awake this uh, well, it's early. Um, yeah, I'm playing a bit of FIFA now um, while I'm currently uploading pictures that I took yesterday. Uh, I've edited the vlog for yesterday, I need to upload that at some point, but yeah, my day is pretty, like, you know, non nondescript, I don't really know what I'm doing. So we'll just see what happens, I guess. Oh, and I need to cook my chilli con carne today, because I didn't do that yesterday. I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, Saints are playing Watford in the Cup, they're playing at home, and Saints haven't been incredible at home recently, um, so I'm, I'm just really hoping that they uh, they do good this time. Like, the Crystal Palace game at home, we should have won easily. We lost it. It was it was awful. So I'm really hoping they can fuck up their ideas now. Um, I'll be watching along, of course. And I'll give you updates on how I'm feeling about the game. Because, well, most likely I'm going to be annoyed as hell. So, it'll be funny. It'll be funny. Um, but whilst I'm watching, I'm going to be sorting out pictures that I took yesterday. Um, I need to get dressed. I should probably get some food as well. Yeah, I'm just lazy. Yes, it's only six minutes in and we're already one goal up. Oh my god, this is our day. This is our bloody day. We're going to win. I'm really annoyed because I'm up in Wales. I can't listen to uh, BBC Solent, uh, which is where the football is on. Um, and like, so I can't actually keep in touch with the game apart from with Twitter. So I'm really, really annoyed. But, oh well, I guess that's all I'm going to have to do. But, you know, I wanted to listen and like keep in touch with the game and hear what happens as it happens but it's not my day so i'm just gonna have to make do with putting twitter on my computer and then just constantly refreshing the southampton page just to like see any updates come through <laughs> to be fair i think i'm just i've found like something else i can do so i've just put the bt sport on to um to just watch the bottom to see if saints score like Oh, it's horrible, but you know, it will do. This isn't like an illegal stream. This is on um, on Twitter, so I'm allowed to watch it. I'm just annoyed because I'm in Wales. I can't access my late, my radio stations back home. I thought they'd be all digital now, but apparently not. So, Saints, um, Saints have won the, the match. Um, yeah, it was only the one goal in the, in the fourth minute. I think it was Chambers. It's his birthday, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, just one goal right at the start and nothing else happened. But I'm really glad that Saints won. That's awesome. Like, I'm really happy about that. Um, I'm not really feeling too well. I don't know what's going on, but I feel really fatigued. My body's, like, kind of aching and just telling me not to do anything. I don't really know what's up. I was kind of meant to go to a party later, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to go. Um, currently, I'm doing more reading because I have a lot of reading to do at the weekend. But, um, yeah, I'm not feeling too great, but... I don't really know what I can do. Um, yeah. I'm really, like, feeling really shit because if I don't go to this party, I'll just feel bad for my friend whose birthday it is. But I don't know. I don't know. So I'm now feeling really crap. Um, like, really bad. But I'm going to have to go and cook this chili con carne just because, um, like, I defrosted the mints and I can't leave it out for another day now because it will go off. So I'm going to have to make it now. I don't know if I'm going to vlog much of it. It's because I just want to get it done and then go to bed probably. I'm really not feeling good. So, yeah, sorry about that. I'll, I'll like, film some bits, but I'm not going to make vlogging a priority right now. I just want to cook it and then I can, like, rest easy, really. So I now basically have to leave that to, well, boil first, then simmer. And it's going to take, like, an hour to do. So I have to wait ages till I can eat. So I'm currently in the process of trying to book a meal for Ellie and I to go uh, go out on, on Valentine's Day. And um, there's this amazing restaurant here in Bangor called Voltaire, which is a vegan restaurant. And I think it's like in the top five in the entire country, like vegan restaurants. And it's so nice. I went there once with mum, dad and Ellie. And um, they're doing like this Valentine's platter thing which looks incredible, but we're not sure whether we want to go for that platter or just do the main menu. But their food is honestly amazing, so I'm trying to organise a, like, a meal out now. It's not a surprise, like Ellie knows, because 
I'm a student, I wouldn't be able to afford to pay for the whole thing. It sucks. I'd love to be able to treat Ellie to it, but I don't think I'll be able to afford it. So, what can you do? Um, but it, it's gonna, it's fantastic. Like I know we can get a table, but we just need to, we need to like give them an idea of what food we're gonna get. Like if it's main menu food or the plat the special platters, because I'm guessing that they're like they need to have the right amounts of food in the kitchen to make these orders. Uh, but it's really exciting. So, like, I'm really hoping that we have a nice time. I mean, it's in over two weeks' time, so I don't have a rush. So this is my my chili that I finished. Doesn't look anything special, but I guess things like like large scale food doesn't really look that special until you serve it up. But I'll give it a little taste test for you now. I guess it's going to be really really hot. So prepare for my my like best coping with heat faith. Hmm. Do you know what? It's not. It's not anywhere near as good as chilies I've had in the past. But like, considering I've never made that before, and it's like it's literally my first try ever making a chili. That's actually really nice. Um, hopefully, I can like continue to adapt my recipe and like make it even nicer and, and better. It's quite liquidy that one, but a lot of the flavours in the sauce, so I don't want to get rid of it. But like they tend, to, they tend to be more like stocky, not stocky, but like stocky. So, hmm. But it tastes really good. That's that's good. I'm not eating it now. I'm gonna go and probably lie in bed because <laughs> I'm just feeling shit. So I've managed to. Well, I haven't managed to, but I've put forward what Ellie and I want to do for Valentine's Day, which is go to Voltaire at about half past. No, about eight o'clock. Uh, and get one of the special platters. It's an Italian platter. To be honest, this vlog's been so short, I might read out what's on the platter just to pad the runtime. So, the platter that Ellie and I are going to get is called the Valentino, uh, which is a giant platter. It comes served with, uh, you get a glass of Prosecco, which is really nice. Uh, but then there's a, a stuffed crust pizza, a vegan, like it's a vegan restaurant. Let me just say that, everything's vegan. But stuffed crust pizza with vegan pepperoni and black olives, fresh spinach, uh, fresh spinach tagliatelle, a citrus cucumber roll with vegan goat's cheese, strawberry and sun-dried tomato, which sounds really interesting, having strawberry. Uh, and then, but similarly, pan-fried garlic mushroom and blueberry pot with crispy ciabatta wedges. Blueberry, like where are these fruits coming from? It's amazing. And then cheese filled potato skins with spring onion, tomato and coriander. And then some chef's special salad bowl. Uh, and then for dessert, you get a strawberry and chocolate platter with brownies, whipped cream and chocolate sauce. Which sounds amazing. So, um, yeah, Ellie and I are going to have all of that to ourselves. It's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, so everything on there is, is vegan. I know it says things like cheese and like pasta pastas, uh, not egg pasta, things like that. Th vegan pepperoni, I didn't think it was, I didn't know it was a thing, I guess it's like a corn uh, or similar thing like that. All the chocolate won't be, won't, will be vegan chocolate and stuff. Really good restaurant, like I only went there once and it was absolutely fantastic. And I've, I've been looking forward to going back again, so this is going to be really nice. <laughs> right, guys, um, I'm just going to go to bed. I'm sorry today's vlog hasn't been that interesting, but I, and I say that pretty much every day, but like, especially today. Sometimes you just have days where you get ill. That just happened. It means I haven't really done anything. And uh, I'm sorry about that tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be fine and I'll be doing volunteering. Um, I'm hoping if I get an early night and take, take some like painkillers and stuff, I can try and just settle down and hopefully be okay in the morning. But yeah, I got my volunteering. Uh, and if people have watched my older videos on my other channel, then you'd have seen how much fun I had last time I went volunteering. Uh, a lot of memes were created that day, <laughs> and um, so I'm really looking forward to going tomorrow. But yeah, I'm going to go to bed, so thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. What, what's French for goodbye? Oh, <laughs> au revoir. What's French for goodbye? Adios, no. <laughs> Bye.